So, oh no. Got here today. Still. MS 250. 45cc. 16 inch bar. 16 inch tree. It's that same kind of rotten maple from the last video. <laughs> That's also 15 cc's more. Overall, these things, great size. The 250s, very good. 251s, I've run one or two, they're about the same in all honesty. This, it's a great saw. Like, it's a great homeowner saw, small wood. Unlike the 311, it actually struggles a lot, even with this, rotten wood. But overall, they're not bad saws. I've had, I think, three of them at this point. This is my dad's, and I just, he doesn't want to get rid of it. I've gotten rid of all of mine. Mine were MS-250 and two 025s. The 025s, in my opinion, are a little bit better than the 250s. But you can find these things if I'm online, 100 bucks, eBay, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. They're cheap, they're around, they're reliable. Easy to get parts for. Um, not much to say about them. They're great little saws. Um, a lot of people's first saws. I tell a lot of people how to run saw on these, but overall, they're not bad. They're one of my personal favorites for small saws, small entry level saws. One of my friends needed a saw to do some work in the yard and he had never find a saw. This right here, a LMS 250, 16 inch steel bar. 325 pitch chain can't go wrong with it one thing i will say is if you are a beginner get the anti-kickback chain it's same price cuts a little little bit slower but it's a lot safer and for those who don't know kickback is ah, see? <laughs> why that chain breaks you hit with your hand it engages and chain stops saves people's saves people's lives saves people's pride um i know i'm not the best one about it i run a lot of old saws without them but you know i've also got a lot more experience and i'm familiar with those saws something like this there's no reason not to run the chain break if it breaks please get fixed I, again, and I don't always run size with chain brakes, but I've got a hell of a lot of experience with said size with chain brakes. But overall, great little saw, classic here, classic there. I like the 310 to get the air filter. Just slide this out. Uh, leave it in run position, I always forget about that. And get to your air filter. Nice. Low cartridge style air filter. They're cheap, rarely replaceable, and yeah, not much else to say. It's it's an air filter. Not my favorite design. They get loose sometimes, but to get to the spark plug, all this, and you can see it right there. Right there. That's the spark plug boot. Pop that. Put your scrunch on it, and off you go. But, Quick little review of the MS-250. MS-250, 251, and 025, all the same saw. 
It's got the C in front of it. That has a different style of starter. This. Pops every time. The other one folds all the way out and then at the end it spins it over really fast. As I saw before, not the easiest thing to get going when it's warm. <laughs> A lot of times, that's just due to the carburetor being dirty. This one sat for a while, so I'm putting the carburetor. If there's interest in it, I can make a video on it, but otherwise, have fun, stay safe. The little two foot piece. Thank you. Have a great day.